and then Elegant will probably play, get his rematch in, in Losers Finals. Although Razo is very good. These all, you never really know with SoCal. There's a lot of talent here and a lot of different characters and matchups. And, and I think to some degree, people are still filling out this game. It's not scientific, you know, the same characters winning every time. <laughs> no, I, I, I think you're absolutely correct. This game hasn't been boiled down yet. And certain characters are just yo-yoing in and out of relevance. and. Well, and yeah, and I'm interested to see how far Void can take Sheik because we haven't seen a lot of faith in this character, but, uh, you know, we also haven't seen a lot of representation, so maybe it's partially because not a lot of people are really trying with this character. Blazo, meanwhile, is no slouch of his own. At the last Wednesday Night Fights, got second place, an impressive run there, and managed to take a 3-0 set off of Kome, the Japanese Shulk. Nearly got a 3-2 set and reset to take it all, but fell last hit there. Yeah, I was really bummed that uh, Razo didn't come to Switch Fest because it, it was pretty depressing. I thought just maybe having another SoCal talent there would, would uh, give us a bit better chance of getting somebody from SoCal in top eight, but that didn't end up happening. <laughs> Unfortunately, hashtag SoCal sucks. These are two people Ironically. on different levels, perhaps on the PR, but both of them capable of beating anyone on any given day. And we're going to have to see who takes it. Winner's semis, best of five, going to start out on PS2. One, yep, good old PS2. The tried and true. That tilt from Razor gets Void onto the platform, bouncing fishes out of trouble. I don't know if you can hear this on the mic, but the background audio is still buzzing after what just happened with Elegant's just furious end to that game five. There's gonna be still a lot of that going on in the background, but as I say that, Void is already into triple digits. Yeah, well, Cheek's Fair is so good at controlling space, uh, and uh, you know, Peach is a character that just kind of want to float, wants to float around and threaten and, and pressure you, and that's a lot harder when she can just throw that move out for pretty much free. F throws back and has that turn up in hand, throws that one upwards, and he's going to bounce and fish between the two. Void sitting at 154. Throws back and another nair at the ledge. Yeah, Razo. Air dog. I don't know if he did it intentionally, but he did avoid. Okay, back air closing out. He did avoid what uh, Void was gone for a lot, which is the air dodge and the up smash. Possibly what he was looking for. Down air from Void though has that thrown out towards ledge, and he's just turning around back and forth. This time the air though from Razo. He's gonna cover the platform again with it, but Void manages to slip between the cracks. Only 18% onto that second stock, so not too far away from taking this. Okay, yeah. Razo landing that that down tilt, but too far, but more too far away for him to get any kind of confirm off of it. Okay. Yeah. Razo just threatening there up in the air. Has to avoid getting juggled, though. He does have the needles, but Razo too smart to let him confirm the down smash from Razo. He that he, he pressured his shield with that back air, ended up. Oh no, did he get clipped by the turnip? He did, but he makes it back anyway. Yeah, so Razo pressured Void's shield with that back air and then uh, crossed him up and went for the down down smash to, to poke his shield. Uh, but it's, uh, Waits out the counter dome, gets the bouncing fish, a bit of rage, but even so, Sheik's damage output is still not going to be anything near making this percent deficit up quite yet. Spot dodges the grab there. Razo with the lead here, but... Well, Void needs to find something, and he found a huge combo right there. Yeah, a couple of drag down up airs. Catches the Peach Bomber going to the left, and... The biggest question is here is, is he can... Is... Can he find the kill? The wind box a bit there. Gets another up air. So he's starting to make this one, and another up air will take him off the top. Void is already making this comeback. Yeah, but but Sheik's 
weight right now, and he'll still die to just about anything. So, Void needs to play perfect. Of course, he's a, car uh, he's a player who uh, can play perfect. One of the few, I would say. Uh, when he is in the zone, he's definitely one of the best players in the world. Void is just screams capability in everything he does. His play is beautiful at times, and at his best, he's up with anyone in the world, but the dash attack will take him, and now Razo is within touching distance here. Okay, fair into bouncing fish. Wow, Void has all those confirms down for bouncing fish. We've seen him get weak back air into bouncing fish. We've seen him get needles into bouncing fish. We've seen him get nair into bouncing fish. We've seen him get fair into bouncing fish. I think earlier today we saw bouncing fish into bouncing fish. It's just something that so much of Sheik's moveset will just lead into. It's almost the centerpiece, you could say. Uh, I mean, well, it is only one of Sheik's only kill moves. I mean, she does need it, to be fair. There's a lot more. Okay, Razo had the punish there, but uh, it wasn't fast enough, but Boy just waited and shield, and Razo just grabs him anyway. Dips under the turnip. Boy just gonna bounce it to the right, has him with the back throw. Okay, Razo trying to land with Dare there. Risky, but there's not a lot that you can do uh, that's going to be a hard punish for that. Each bomber is not going to do anything but the shield, but the back air. Now he'll return it, so how will Void get back? He only gets back into the throw, and we saw the sparks, not the kill. Fastball to avoid the turn up. Nice stuff for Void. Only called to jump out with a fair and gets crowned. Razo is going to take game one over the 1C Void. We just love to throw that fair out when you're in the corner like that because they know you're feeling pressure. They know you want to jump be, uh, or maybe roll or something. And in that case, Void went for the jump. And that hitbox is just so big, it covers just about anywhere you want to go. What a beautiful play. He just matched his jump with one of his own, and all of a sudden, he was in the right vertical vicinity. <laughs> vertical vicinity, I love it. Yes, just like it is as you say. Now, game two, uh, Razo is is uh, trying to make me and my prediction be incorrect here, I guess, with this beat. We'll get back to full screen in just a moment. Uh, there we go. Void is getting back on top of the platform, and oh no, he landed it. Okay, that was lucky for Void. That could have been so much damage. I mean, a moment ago, we saw that she does have a wall thing, and a wall jump, rather. The ladder of which he used right there to get back, but unsuccessfully. There and then okay, yeah, boy, yeah, just uh, stuck in that. Oh, rack down up air on top of the platform into F smash. That's some Joker stuff right there from the sheet. We've seen him go for that before, but like on the ledge like that, uh, that uh, and near the edge, it will kill. Uh, very specific sets of circumstances for Void to get that kill, but he managed to find it. Nonetheless, and we've seen Void get it against lesser opponents, and Razo gets the Peach Bomber and has enough recovery to make it back. Okay, yeah, that one. Fair to back here there, and rack up a little more percent. The of this matchup is that Peach's combos are much harder to land, but they do so much more damage than what, like whatever she can do. They can, but a lot of them require the opponents being at low percent. We've seen as Void is just creeping up to 150 here. Razo hasn't been able to find more than just one straight hit. Well, that's really all he needs at this, at this percent. Uh, and he gets it, but it's going to be too far. Yeah, across the stage, a bit of a tall order, but the F throw is going to do it. Razo at 105% has to get something going. Misses with the sticks there. Very unfortunate. Definitely going to help him bring it back. That's the dare. Up air is almost going to send him off the top. Peach is not the heaviest character, but the bouncing fish confirmed off of the needles. Void sitting pretty. Fair, fair. So many fairs. Overextends a little bit. And when you overextend a little bit against Peach, it's rough. But luckily, Void has a, a bit of a lead here, so it's not as big of a deal for him. 
and that rage might help him to get a kill that he desperately... Well, he doesn't desperately need a kill right here. He does have a lead. But it could help him out of it, so... I wanted to go for it all right there. He had Peach's turn up in hand, so Void could have confirmed stopping off of that, but... Okay, lands with the reverse there uh, earlier there, but he doesn't get punished for it. That ending hitbox just as that Peach Bomber would have left him dry. Okay, I saw Razo try to go out of the shield with a Nair, or will cancel Nair, but uh, actually Void's Nair beating it out. So back off stage though, turn up, throws it over his head, Void not getting up just yet, the back air. That one he was able to, Razo was able to sneak that Nair hitbox just right outside of the range of where the Nair would hit. Got him and hit, sent Void off stage. But he's going to need more than that, for sure, if he wants to take this set. Tell Razo just wants to go for like a trump here, but another drag down up air. Back throw. And yeah, he doesn't really have any kill throws. He's just gonna go for the best positional advantage he can. And now High up he has the umbrella pulled out. He's gonna have to fall down in the back air. He's going to do it. Void evens the setup real quick. Void with the stupid two star. Very astute play from him. Once he saw that umbrella. Because Raza was off screen when it happened, he looked at that little icon and he saw that umbrella was pulled out. And when he saw him floating down, he went off stage. Even though the bouncing fish didn't connect it, the back air accomplished the same goal only seconds after. Well, there's not a lot that he can do in that situation besides try to fast had to go into free fall. And once Raza went low like that, he had no options. CLG Void is going to be 1-1 against Razo as we move into town and city for game three. This is winner semis, so a lot to play for here. Yes, for sure. Okay, it looks like Razo's trying to play defensively here and use these back airs to maybe stuff out uh, one of Void's approaches. Uh, I don't know which hitbox is uh, longer, uh, Peach's Bear or Sheik's Bear. They're both disjointed, uh, but it's, if Void misspaces, it's likely you could easily run into one of those hitboxes. Just goes under the needles, and now that up tilt into the ground, drag down, drag up air. Down. Drag down is F smash, yeah, closing it out again. Great job of getting used. Floats back and goes back, down tilt a few percent. But Razo could have been caught with much worse there. Make this for up smash. Maybe hoping for a roll read. But uh, that's just going to get you damage at this point. I think maybe uh, that was a missing foot from Razo, or maybe he's a little shook right now. So it seems like you, if you were going for a roll read, you could have done a lot more. Honors right. with the toad, though, and Razo is going to gently make it back. Although the rapid jab from Void is going to accomplish him. The same task as he put back off stage, he cannot catch a break. Okay, huge amount of shield pressure from coming out from Void, but Razo is just going to weather it and grab him and send him back there. Almost gets a kill, but Void just out of the percent window where that will kill. Or I should say, percent is the will kill. Will cancel Nair, will though. Yeah, whiffed with the up smash, and only seconds later, Void was just sent tumbling towards that blast zone, but the bouncing fish is almost going to do the same. And has to be careful. Already up to 114. Another bouncing fish, yes. this time raw on top of the platform. Raw bouncing fish. Great stuff from uh, Void. That's a hard move to land, especially. In, I mean, I, Raza was in disadvantage, but he had to make a move and hate on that. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, Razo missing out on that combo there with the down tilt. That's really going to cost him because he's already behind. That was his big chance to start to bring this back. Razo chases him forward. In and out of shield. Finally gets him into the grab in the back air. Comes back there. Up tilt. Doesn't get the up air, but does get the back air off the second up tilt. Now has him trapped on the platform. Yeah, boy, tomato made a great use out of uh, the side platforms. The side platforms and he's, he's done a great job of, of keeping Razo in disadvantage. Most of his kills have been from uh, Razo being in disadvantage. 
so Razo being able to make it back to stage is huge for him, but he, he's at so, so much of a deficit here, and uh, I'm not sure that it's going to matter. So he uses that up special to make it back, but picks the wrong get-up option. Once again, called out the roll with the back air, and now Razo has him down to his last stock, but a lot of percent to make up. And the needles and weights, catches the Pete Bomber with the up special. And gets the raw bouncing fish once again, just as he's returning. Void is going to take game three with such a stylish play. Gets the second raw bouncing fish kill of the game. That's so hard to time. The To catch neutral get up with bouncing fish, already just charging F smash or something like that is, is hard to land uh, oh. neutral get up punish. But because it just has such a small window. You're going to be seeing smash fail for game five. We already saw one upset in winter semis a set earlier. Void a bit of a road, uh, or Razo, excuse me, a bit of a road if he wants to make this upset on Void, has to take both game four and five, but certainly not impossible. Void already starting off with a hit here. And he's got Razo in disadvantage again. Probably won't get the kill here, but he will most likely rack up a lot of damage. Makes it back safely with an air throw, and on top of that platform, with up air there, just gets a trade instead with sheet there. Look at this, he's just floating in and out. A bit of a trade will send Razo to center stage and Void to the edge, but Void, of course, using that just that stealth that she provides and makes it back up. Smash. I think uh, maybe I was mistaken. What Razo was trying to do with these up smashes is just cut, catch it, a drift in uh, from Void, and so feed out one of those fairs or something like that. Just get catching a jump. Okay. <laughs> going to get burned there. Gets the needles into the bouncing fish, though. Void is absolutely steamrolling through Razo at the moment. Razo. Up big here. Another up air. Boy can really get this low percent work going. Yeah, and again, we're seeing almost 50% here. Uh, so this, this character's combo game is, is not that strong, but we're just seeing, I mean, we're seeing two or three hits come out from Boyd with these, uh, with the combos he can land, but the amount of damage that he's able to rack out up from Razo being a disadvantage is just so much uh, that it's making this matchup seem really difficult. I mean, Sheik's combo game is actually a lot better than it looks at first sight. If you're willing to dedicate the time into the character as Void has, but Razo does land the fair, finally gets that first dot gone. She can hit you a lot. The problem is she doesn't do a lot of damage. Right. Is what I was trying to say. Winbox will send him towards him. Doesn't get the up smash though. Yeah, well, Razo managed to space himself just out of the range of that up smash. Lands with the dare. Void as the needles charge. Winbox is in. Doesn't even need the Winbox. The projectile itself will send him packing towards the blast zone. Yeah, this is looking like Void's game to lose here. He is just running away with it. Void showing why he's not only the one seed today, but the number one player in Southern California as well. And he's just continuing these strings. Yeah. 23 damage there. Look at this, no mercy. Uh, and you saw that. That just looked like it should have been... Like, if you showed me that combo with a percent hidden, I would have guessed 45 at least. Yeah, but Void, again, he's so good at keeping Razo from getting, finding his footing and getting back to stage. Good yeah, job. But they, I mean, look, he's put almost, what, like 70... 6%? I don't know if all that percent was the, from that, but he dragged him off stage. He just kept hitting him and hitting him and making his life difficult. But that up smash, go to give Razo a chance here. He's got a, he's got a signs, he's got signs of life. This isn't over. He has taken like the entire game from Void, so this, this is possible. Void's adapted a lot, but um, Peach is a very strong character with some insane combos. If he catches Void slipping or finds an opening. Uh, it's very easy for him to put on 50% or more or more. Yeah, but the window back is open. Razo got the parry into, into the F throw. throw. Maybe he's just trying to mix up Void there, trying to see how he'll react to this situation. And now Void has those needles charged up. Is he going to look for a confirm off of them? Or is he just going to go 
and a few other moves of his own volition. Okay, gets the weak Nair conversion, and uh, she just outside of the percentage where you can get the bear, so, uh, so Razo had to back off there. Another F throw, and now Void is nearly at Trump Nair. Oh, that was so sick. Razo yep. bringing it back. Void died at 99 there, and yeah, she's so light. Of course, both of these characters, differing amounts of kill power, but really the same weight, as you could say. And Razo is going to be taking this to a game five. Could we be seeing a second consecutive she is a upset? Lot lighter, but yeah, we we could here. Uh, it looked like Void just had Razo figured out the last two games, but then Razo just kind of snuck in there with that Trump, who was so sneaky. He not only stole that ledge, he stole that game. Mm -hmm. With a bit of water, this one for all the marbles. Both winner semi sets have been brought to a game five. Razo, of course, took game one, and as you just saw there, took game four. It's going to be played on Void's counter pick. Yep, advantage to Void here. Oh, he's doing the the death stare, the calm, the focused. I don't think Razo has a chance here. Perhaps I've seen not. that look from Void before. This is Dark Void territory we're going into. Yep, I know. I think that's Void. You know, Elegant has this elegant shake, and Void just has that, as we just saw. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget, I think... There was one time where he played an entire stock while looking at, I think Strides was commentating, he was looking at Strides the whole time. He just took the stock. Although Razo is going to get an early combo and caps it off with a pair. He's looking good here. Another up smash will put Void at 79%. He's looked so much the better his first stock, but that Peach Bomber very ill-advised. Oh, he went for the turnaround F tilt there. Looks slick. But he could have cut something up. Oh, we got the Nair to up smash conversion, but it won't kill. And the summer life is so rough. Some of his needles and doesn't get another move to get him in, but now Razo's gonna go for the down throw and doesn't get a back air follow up, but he's sitting safe in shield. Yeah, we have Razo off stage there. The boys been able to make so much of the situation, but not right now. Razo barely making it back here, but has a turn up in hand and has Void tumbling off stage. Set up attack to make it back and has, finally has the Eagles charge, but Razo drops down off the platform with an aerial option. Yeah, so Void expected Razo to drop down and retreat, but Razo just dropped down and threw out that Nair, which caught Void's approach. Smash will put Void towards that right part of the stage, and he has and to be careful. Dark Void about to be unseated here. You may see He's that still early in this match. Oh, that trade is not working out for Void. Get more percentage dash attack killing. I guess at 176 percent, you'd hope that takes the stock, along with a little bit of rage. But now here is where Void can start the, the Void, combat. Yeah, the Void combos are coming in full effect here. But Razo, ooh, he's not a whole lot to close out the stock now either. Back there will almost do it, sending him towards the other side of the stage. And one of the Trump just missed the ledge entirely. Oh, Air Dodge, he still can make it back, but pretty scary. And now Void is going to be onto oh, his last stock. Trades. This could be a really big upset. Number eight in California versus number, number eight in Southern California versus number one. Razo is one stock away from such a game-changing upset. Oh no, this combo is gonna do so much damage to Void. Okay, getting that tech damage to mitigate some of that damage, but it might be too much. Bouncing Fish though will take it, and now Razo is down to his last stock. 48% up, has to find something. Yeah, suddenly this is looking a lot more doable for Void, but getting hit by that fair and that back air are uh, making it so this game looks like it's slipping away from him. Another back air. And one thing's for Another certain. Another back air. This game won't be going on for much longer. Will it be Void? Will it be Razo? Void is at 70% down. 
and even more now with a bit of flair from Razo. Yeah, Void tried to catch that drift with the, uh, the F-tilt, but Razo just threw out that, uh, that pair. And oh, gets the back air, and, and Void's going to be tumbling towards it. the blast zone. Razo with a five-game upset over the number one seed Void, and he's going to be moving on to winner's finals against Master Mario. What an unexpected turn of event. Razo did take game four and game five. Much more subdued Razo there than we saw from Master Mario a moment ago, but Void Fortunately, is no property damage from this matchup. <laughs> Look at him, he's just winded. That set took all, all of he, what he had in the tank. We're gonna have to see if he's, he's anything just left. He's opening his backpack, dude. Look at him. He, he's like he's exhaling. He's oh yeah, I'm sure that was a that was a game five set against the top player in SoCal. Huge upset, and I'm sure Razo is really happy for himself right now. And now, perhaps not the winners' finals that we expected. It's going to be Master Mario and Razo. Yeah, these two play each other a lot, actually. So uh, something surprisingly more familiar. Uh, we'll see who managed to make their way up of. Oh. Ooh, okay. Elegant has been disqualified. And we see those two letters right there. Gonna have to, I'm only gonna have to assume that that was not probably not his own choice there. Uh, it could be, a, he could be a little salty about his loss there. He seemed like he took it pretty hard. Either way, Chag is gonna be sitting in loser's semis, awaiting the winner of Void versus Paper. But before we get to, get to that, we're gonna have to see Razo Face off against Pow Gaming's Master Mario. Mario versus Peach, another canon matchup we have. Yes, yes, Mario versus Peach. Uh, just yeah, if you if you've seen if you've seen any uh, Wednesday Night Fights or even MSM, you've seen this matchup a lot. And 